Jimmy, we don't wear headphones at the breakfast table. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> where you going, little man? Matter of fact, what you listening to anyway? Let me see. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
think you need to worry about Derek. It's just a game. Just a game? Baby, I mean, this is sports. Sports is life. Tracy, you said that power drill you bought last week was life. That power drill is courtless. <laughs> hey, mom and dad, how you like me now? <sighs> Jimmy, what is that on your tooth? Just a little bling bling to catch the ladies up. <laughs> Let me see. Is that a diamond? Yeah, I got it from mom's jewelry box. <laughs> Oh, my God. It is really stuck on there. Come here. Let me see. Ah! Oh, I got to go get the hem and chisel. Wait. Hold it. We can go to the dentist tomorrow. It's not coming off. I use super glue in a hair dryer. This dominates forever. admire that thing all you want, Jimmy, but we're going to the dentist at 3 o'clock and it's coming off. 3 o'clock is no good for me. Oh, really? Why not? I've got Spongebob. We'll tape it and you'll watch it tomorrow. But I like to watch it live. I hate to burst your bubble, but it's a cartoon. What? What are you doing? Homework. Why don't you put the book down and work on your jump shot? Then maybe the coach will put you in the game. I don't like playing in the game. Being in front of all those people with the score and the clock, it's too much pressure. I just like practice. That's fun. You should have told that to Dad before he spent $8 on those nice tube socks. I can't say anything to Dad. You know what he's like. Sports is life! It meant you a man! Meant you a man! No! Our parents are crazy. Dad thinks sports is life. Mom doesn't like my diamond tooth. These people are out of touch. Man, hey, what's up, baby pop? What's up, what's up Pop? All right. So, D, how you feel about the game last night? Great, we won. No, oh, that's the spirit. Meant you man! Ah! <laughs> Let me tell you something. You got the genes of a champion. And once you get the opportunity to play, you gonna be great. So just stick with it, little man. Your time will come. I mean, your time will come. Give it to him straight. It's SpongeBob a cartoon. Hey, Get down there. Excuse me, coach. Can I talk to you for a second about my son, Derek? Derek Mitchell? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to get up in your face, you know, being a coach and all. I'm quite sure you get enough of that stuff. Parents coming down here screaming at you, trying to tell you how to run the team. The worst part of this job is dealing with pushy parents. I can't stand no pushy parents. I want you to play my son more. I'd play him more if he was more focused. Look at him. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. You're ripping it all out. You rip your father's heart right on now. Coach, listen, my son's plan is very important to me. I can't take this. All I hear from you parents is, my kid doesn't play enough. My kid plays the wrong position. My kid doesn't like the uniform. Who doesn't like the uniform? You know what, buddy? I'm exhausted. I fix copiers 60 hours a week. I missed half a dozen French lessons that I've already paid for. That money's gone. If you think you can do a better job, God bless. Who didn't like the uniform? All right, little boy. From now on, I'd appreciate it if you keep your teeth out of my jewelry box. What's the point of having a tooth if you can't put jewelry on it? You know, I'll be honest. I'm a little surprised at you. What do you mean? I don't know. I really never thought of you as a follower. Like, last year at the Christmas pageant, what part did you play? An astronaut. <laughs> That's right. And never before was one of the three wise men from outer space. <laughs> but that's what you wanted to do. I gave baby Jesus a moon rock. You got a standing ovation. I did. <laughs> 
Exactly. You see? That's what's great about you. You are an original. Well, you know, just doing my thing. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Taking a break. You must have really worked up a sweat, huh? No. My friend Kevin and I just got into a water fight. It was hilarious. But look, I got good news, man. Coach Cunningham just quit. I'm going to be your new coach. You're going to be the new coach? That's right. And you're going to get all the playing time you deserve. And you're going to be in there passing, dribbling, and shooting. And all eyes are going to be on you. How great is that? That's terrible. What do you mean? Don't you want to play? No, I like things the way they are. Come on, Derek. I did all of this for you. Your time has gone. <laughs> I think you're going to be a great coach, Trace. You're loud, you're opinionated, and you don't give a damn if people hate you. People hate me? No. <laughs> I'm such a good coach. How come I can't get my son to play? You want to get your son to play? Get yourself a good whistle. That's the most important thing for a coach. Now, it can't be plastic. Got to be steel with that little wood ball. You, you got one of those? Yes, Spoon, I have one of those. Is it steel? I think so. With a little wooden ball? I don't know what kind of damn ball is in the whistle. I'm trying to figure out a way to make my son want to get in the game. He says it's too much pressure. Tracy, you can't force kids to play. They'll hate the game. And then they'll hate you. And before you know it, he's packing his things and running away from home. I gotta call my daddy, man. Oh, he's crazy, Tracy. You gotta force kids to do things they don't want. That's how my dad got me to shave. Your daddy forced you to shave? You're damn right, twice a week. Stood behind me with a whistle. No, 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 no. See, I agree with Bernard, man. When it comes to kids, you have to motivate their souls, and then their minds will follow. You can't require, you have to inspire. Hey, that's good. Who said that? I don't know. One of our many rhyming black leaders. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to talk to Derek about not wanting to play on the team. Baby, he's got so much else going on. He's a good student. He's got a lot of friends. He just doesn't like the pressure of playing. Well, then it's crazy that he's on the team. Oh, you've done some crazy things. Back in high school, you took that job as a lifeguard and you couldn't even swim. <laughs> You know, I was the man, you know, walking around all them sweet lottie dotties in my orange trunks. <laughs> Besides, you ain't got to swim if you know how to scream and throw that ring. Don't worry about Derek. I'm not worrying about Derek. I just want to help him. Nothing would make me prouder than to see my son playing basketball with my pretty face on his back. <laughs> Baby, then the last thing you need to do is put more pressure on him. Tracy, if you want to help Derek, you can't go at him head on. You have to go around. Check me out. I think I found my thing. <laughs> this is what my look says. I'm civilized, but I'm dangerous. <laughs> what do you say we go to the supermarket and show me off? Okay, I think that's a great idea, especially since you look like MC Hammer. I do? Yeah, isn't that the look you were going for? I'm going to change. See, baby, around. <laughs> hey, D. What's going on? Nothing. Just doing my homework. What's going on with you? Oh, nothing. Just wandering around with my wrestling trophy. <laughs> okay, the year's 1983. Shaka Khan was burning up the charts. Vanessa the Undresser Williams had just been named the first black Miss America. And Michael Jackson's Jerry Carroll exploded into a ball of flames. <laughs> then there's me. Here I am at the All City Wrestling Championships. Feeling invincible in my tight red unitards. So I steps on the mat, right? For the first time I see my opponent, this huge Ukrainian dude. The only tougher looking person in the place was his mama. And she looked like Larry Zonka in a house coat. So the bell rings. The zing! Before you know it, it's through Ivan is sitting on my neck. But did I give him the pressure? Hell no! 
I reached over and I grabbed a fistful of back hair and I pulled as hard as I could. <laughs> Did the flip flop move? And pinned him. Are you serious? Yes. His mother stormed the mat and threw a cigar at me. <laughs> you see, D. Your father had to overcome a lot of pressure, too. Yeah, I guess you did. And I know you can do the same. So let me tell you about the time I had this match and I bit this South African dude's eyebrow off. <laughs> All right, team, let's huddle up. The game is about to start. Put your hand in. Let's do that chair that I taught you. Ready? One, two, three. T.M. Automotive gives great service. Stretch it out! People are checking me out. Yeah, I think they like your new look. It says money in class. <laughs> I think it says Mr. Peanut. Okay, coach, get your starters on the court. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. You three stay on the bench. I'm playing some different kids today. You, you, Derek, get in the game. Please let me add it up, and I know you have got the law. For Derek D. Wop Mitchell! Yeah. Oh, Derek, that's your cue to take off your sweats and get in the game. I told you I don't want to play. I thought you were going to play through the pressure. We talked about this. No, you talked about this, and all I did was listen. Come on, Dad, just put someone else in. I'm not just your dad. I'm your coach. Now, take off your sweats and get in there. <laughs> Are you going to get in there? No. That's it. I didn't want to play. Huh. Maybe you should sit this one out. <laughs> I see you got your pants back on. Yeah, another pair underneath, just in case you come at me again. Sorry about that. I'll make it up to you. We go to Yankee Stadium on the opening day. You give me a wedgie on the Jumbotron. You know, Dad, if you can't deal with me hanging out on the bench, then maybe I should just quit the team. No, 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 no. See, you don't have to quit. I already fired myself as coach. You did? Yeah. D, I wanted you out there playing in the game because when I was coming up in the project, it was trouble all around me. And I needed sports to stay out of that trouble. But I don't get into trouble. Yeah, I know you don't, because you're not me. You know what I'm saying? You might look like me, a couple of handsome dudes, some heartbreakers and stuff. <laughs> but you are not me. So, do you want me to be on the team or not? Of course, no doubt. But more importantly, I want you to have fun. You know, Dad, maybe I might not like playing in the games, but I bet you I could beat you in one-on-one -on -one anytime. Well, you can try. I'm telling you this, though. If you shoot and miss, you're in trouble, because I got that bootylicious box out. <laughs> You are going to Georgetown or maybe Syracuse, I don't know. But we got work going on tomorrow. Let's take seats now. Uh, Tracy, that was two. No, 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 no. See, you was reading. I did a bunch of them when you turned the page. Man, if Derek ever decides to take sports seriously, he gonna be all right because he got good genes. Be quiet, Tracy. I mean, he's only 12. You know, these kids are still trying to find themselves. Then why bother getting to know them now? I say we should take a cruise and come back when they're about 45, 50. <laughs> come in. I've been thinking. Being a trainer said is just too stressful. What you mean? You know, people always ask me, what's Jimmy doing? Where's Jimmy going? How's Jimmy living? <laughs> I can't handle the pressure. I want to be left alone. Um, what time does that cruise leave? I don't know, but we going. Everyone. 
His I grew up on the wrong side of town. Alma Rosa has her man right where she wants him. His hands were all over me. But the consummate player. And I'm laying my heart out for you. Didn't count on being played. Are you married? Will Lady O blow up the ultimate merger? Only two episodes left. Thursday at 10 p.m. 9 central on TV One.